What happened to you, buddy? Oh, Hannah, I clobbered myself. Your collie almost got clobbered, too, by my truck. Stood right out in the middle of the highway and forced me to stop. <laughs> She's not my dog. She, she must have seen me jump off the train, huh? Oh, that's it, huh? You know, you're lucky you didn't get killed. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, thanks. Uh, thanks for the help. I got a first aid kit over my truck. Come on. Oh, I'll be OK. Thanks. Hey, look. Wait a minute, now, you you need patching. And you don't look to me like you can afford any doctor. Oh, you got the wrong idea, mister. I can pay my way. Oh, sure. And maybe you're the president of the railroad. Is that why you ride it free? <laughs> and wouldn't you jump off out here for you in the middle of nowhere? Well, I saw the highway. I I'm heading for the ocean. Well, one dumb reason's as good as another, I guess. But are you coming or not? Yeah, sure. Thanks, friend. <laughs> I think you live. <laughs> hey, thanks again. The ocean, you said? Yeah, it's that way, isn't it? Well, I can take you as far as Highway 30. I turn off there. That'd be great, thanks. My name's Mark Saunders. Ramsey Harris. <laughs> Why don't you lift your collie aboard and we'll get going. Well, shouldn't we leave her? She probably lives around here. Oh, I don't think so. There's not a... Ranch or a house within 15 miles in any direction. I tell you what, we're going to hit Bonnie's truck stop a little ways up there, and she'll know if the collie belongs to anyone in the valley. Okay. Come on, girl. You're going with us. Okay. Okay, up you go, girl. Sure is a pretty thing. I never had a dog of my own. Well, from the looks of it, you've got one now. At least till we get to Bonnie's. Hey, what's with the ocean, kid? You got a family on the coast? No, I just never seen an ocean before. <laughs> a big deal. Just an ocean, whole lot of water. You know, that's what I hear. But I still want to see it. Well, after that, are you heading any place Particular? Wherever the road takes me. You, uh, you're not one of those hippies, are you? <laughs> no. Ah, oh, forget it. it. It's none of my business anyway. 
Look, you helped me, mister. You're giving me a ride. I guess I owe you an explanation. Well, then you ought to explain to the collie. She's the one got you the ride. Well, then I'll tell you both. I was uh, born and raised in Indiana. Do I have to listen to the whole life story? Oh, it's a short one. When I was a kid, you know, going to school, it was a six-day week. I had a job on Saturdays. Sunday was my day to do whatever I wanted to do. The same for everybody in the world. Exactly. The same as everybody else. So when I got out of school, I went to work. More of the same. And then the Army. Join it and see the world. <laughs> that, that's the Navy. Well, just the same. And I figured I'd go places and see things. Two years stationed in Kansas. So I decided that when I got out of the service, I was going to give myself a whole year of Sundays. You know, just travel around the country, see everything, do anything I wanted to do. A whole year of Sundays? Kind of expensive, isn't it? Well, sometimes I stay in a town and uh, work a while, fatten up my finances. Then I move on again. I want to see it all. Well, the oceans, the deserts, the cities, all of it. Maybe I'll find some answers. To what? What it's all about. You know what I mean? What then? After you think you've found some of the answers, what then? I don't know. That's tomorrow. I'm thinking about today. That's a great idea. Year of Sundays. I wish I could do it. I expect everyone does. Well, why can't everybody do it? Have you ever heard of wives, mortgages, taxes, bills? Yeah, all the realities, huh? That's right. You gotta live with them. No, that's tomorrow, too. Look, kid, I... I think that fall you took hurt your head more than you realize. <laughs> and I think I got to you. About a year of Sundays? Uh, uh, it'll never happen. Bonnie's just down there a little ways. We'll stop and get us a coffee and find out about the collie. Hey, look, uh, I'm buying, okay? Okay. Might cost you a whole Sunday. <laughs> I owe you one, at least. <laughs> Ramsey, she's beautiful. But you don't know her. I know every horse, dog, and cat in this valley. But not this one. She's a stranger. Well, maybe she's a wanderer, a traveler like me. On a year of Sundays, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? Say, uh, you got anything to eat for my friend? Oh, I've got something for her. How's Peggy? She's fine. Are you taking her on that Hawaiian vacation this year? Next year, maybe. You men are all the same. Nothing but promises. <laughs> men. Here you are, girl. What are you going to do about her? I don't know. 
You got any suggestions? Well, she can travel with me as long as she wants to. <laughs> well, it looks to me like she's already made up her mind. Are well, you ready to shove off, kid? Yeah, sure am. How much do I owe you? 50 cents for the coffee and donuts. Her food's on me. Hey, thanks. Come on, girl, let's go. So long, Bonnie. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's go, girl. Thinking about Hawaii? Thinking doesn't cost anything. I hear it's quite a place. I might even go there myself. Now, uh, send me a postcard. Yeah, my mom went last year with a bunch of other widows. She and my pop, they planned that trip for years. He never made it. Well, I'm sorry, kid. That's the way it goes sometimes. Could uh, you and your wife afford to go to Hawaii? Oh, I suppose so. No, no, I've got kids. A man's got to leave something for his kids. They still live with you? No. Well, the boy's through college, got a good job in L.A. The girl's married. Well, then, then what's the problem? Well, like I said, a man's got to leave something for his kids. Did you ever think maybe they don't want your money? Why? If they do, they don't deserve it. Well, you and your wife raised them. You gave them whatever values you thought were right. That's their legacy. I must be dreaming all this. Dreaming what? Here I am driving my truck along the highway. A strange dog stops me. I find a clobbered kid who's turned every day of the week into Sundays. Now I'm asked to park my truck, go off to the islands, and look at the hula girl. <laughs> yeah. It's been quite a day, hasn't it? You're nuts, kid. I should have left you in that collie where I found you. <laughs> Sundays you were talking about, Mark. 
Those are praying days, and we can use a lot of that right now. Like you said, Mark, it's been quite a day. Thanks for running interference for us. Oh, that's part of the job. I'll radio headquarters, get a repair unit up there, and get this rig off the ramp. Thanks again. After everything that happened today, I think you're right. You know something else? What? When I get home, <laughs> uh, the wife and I, we got a lot of planning to do about our year of Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 